Treasurer Scott Morrison addresses the negotiations between Labor and the government on $6.3 billion cut in spending over four years. At issue was the content of a $6 billion omnibus bill Treasurer Scott Morrison said was needed to repair the budget deficit, and which included measures the opposition had proposed during the election. The negotiations dropped some measures but provided alternatives, which boosted savings by $300 million. One of the biggest single casualties in negotiations was the baby bonus. Dumped to save $300 million even though it was a favorite of the National Party. Its removal was described by Labor as a government capitulation. Also, Labor agreed to a $1.5 billion reduction in superannuation tax concessions, which opposition leader Bill Shorten said would not require retrospectivity. Other negotiated measures included $800 million to secure the Renewable Energy Agency arena over five years, preserving the energy supplement payments for all welfare recipients, including pensioners and those on the dole, except for people receiving the Family Tax Benefit and Commonwealth Seniors Health Card holder. The abolition of the Family Tax Benefit A supplement for families with adjusted taxable incomes above $80. Oh, oh. Protecting Labor's Child Dental Benefit Scheme by removing it from the legislature. Removing the cuts that would see people with severe psychiatric conditions lose support. Starting discussions with the government to accelerate Australia's transition to a modern, clean energy renewable energy system. Mr Morrison said 20 of the 24 measures in the package had survived negotiations and finance. Minister Matthias Cormann said there could be further constructive negotiation with Labor. Labor has largely tapped out on outlays, Mr Morrison said. He warned the government would not accept opposition proposals for higher taxes. The $6.3 billion was not the full task. Much as the exchange of pleasantries contrasts with the usual parliamentary battles and underlines. The difficult position of the government. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull said the absence of a majority in the Senate meant he had to negotiate in a constructive and pragmatic manner. The Labour opposition was first to announce the deal with the government apparently still tied down by a backbench discussion of same-sex marriage policy. Opposition leader Bill Shorten took full advantage of the vacant media field saying his objective had been to protect labor priorities. Today is a win for families on low incomes. Today is a win for Australians committed to real action on climate change. Quote, Mr Shorten told reporters as he claimed a victory of significant amendments. It's a hard choice. In a perfect world you don't have to do these things, he told reporters. But he also congratulated the government on the negotiations. Shadow Treasurer Chris Bowen added, The government and the opposition have engaged in good faith negotiations on the omnibus bill, and I am pleased we have been able to reach agreement. Shadow Finance Minister Jim Chalmers said the deal showed Labor was prepared to consult and make concessions but not compromise on Labor values. Labor promised the Australian people we would undertake budget repair that is fair, and we are delivering on that promise today. He said in a statement, We will not support cutting payments for some of the most vulnerable Australians. News. Com. Our privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, we may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.